Hi there, my name is Captain Pete Bethune and I'm on the ship Modoc. We're heading down west of the Galapagos to go and monitor the Chinese fishing fleet. And I'm going to take you through the process we go through to figure out where are we going to go to find these Chinese boats. The first thing we do is we go to the Global Fishing Watch website, which has accumulated a huge volume of data about fishing boats and when and where they go fishing. This here is a typical screen from that website and the green dots here are the interesting thing for us. These represent commercial fishing boats likely engaged in a fishing activity. We can also go looking at historical data to see how the fleets have moved throughout the year. The data thus far is all based on what's called AIS, which is a signal that commercial fishing boats send out identifying the ship and what they're engaged in. But if the vessels are trying to hide, let's say if they're engaged in illegal fishing, they're not going to turn their system on. So to find these boats, we need a couple extra tools. The first of these is the VIRS satellite system, which was originally commissioned to do weather forecasting for America. It has now become an amazing tool for locating vessels at sea. The final element we use is satellite single aperture radar. So you put all of that data together in a big melting pot and it spits out the data that's interesting for us. So we're on our way southwest from Galapagos. The green line marks international waters. We expect we'll find the Chinese fleet after that. What could possibly go wrong?